Time for What Are the Odds? Presented for the people by Caesar Sportsbook. Your app is ready, Emperor. Time now for What Are the Odds with Sal and JJ back with us. Jacques Vaughn is plus 750 to win Coach of the Year, while Tom Thibodeau is plus 3,000. Now, with so many teams and sports in the New York and New Jersey area, we want to know who are your top five coaches right now? JJ, let's start. Let's have some fun with this, guys. I'm going to go with all pro coaches. So I'm going to leave the iconic <laughs> Jim Beheim out of this, especially with Syracuse being in the gutter this season. Sal, I got to start number one with your buddy, Buck Showalter. Yeah. It's got to be Buck. Look at what he did with the Mets. Think about what he's done for the duration of his career. Number two for me is Brian Dable. That giant team going to the playoffs and winning a playoff game is nothing short of absurd. So I want to show the giant coach some love at number two. Gerard Gallant, winning track records, done a very nice job with the Rangers. They're in the conference finals last year. I'll put him at number three. Tibbs, listen, good resume with Chicago. Knicks back on track, looking like they're going to be in the playoffs two out of three years. I'll put him at number four, and then I'll put Jacques Vaughn number five. The job he has done in Brooklyn, when you consider Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and their insane situation, when you think about the fact that this net team is still competing their tails off, I'm going to give Jacques Vaughn some love here, Sal. We basically have the same list outside of number five. I mean, I have to start with number one, my guy. Mary Buck. <laughs> I love Buck so old, I can't put anybody over him. Dable deserves to be number two. And look, maybe this speaks to the ineptitude around this town as far as the head coaches go. But I think the biggest point is you saw both JJ and my list here. No Robert Sala, no Aaron Boone. I think that's I'm proud of you for that, no Aaron Boone. He can't be on there. Gallant deserves to be on there. Tips as well, 40 did. And Lindy Ruff. To me, to over Jacques Vaughn, Jacques Vaughn relatively new. I know he's done a nice job here, but at least Lindy Ruff has the history of what he did with the Sabres and has the Devils in a great spot here. What, third in the league right now as far as point total goes. So similar list, different with Lindy Ruff I'm, and Jacques I'm Vaughn. I'm surprised you didn't put your best friend Lane Lambert on there. He's a big uh, Isles yeah, guy right no, now. No, you know, not right no. now? Okay. They want to go. Well, uh, before we <laughs> let you go, again? I also have a list that I put on there, and I agree with a lot of your suggestions. But, you know, I also have to put, uh, okay, so Gerard Gallant, of course. I also saw him win a Memorial Cup in 2011, just want to say. Uh, Devils, Lindy Ruff, they were saying fire Lindy back at the beginning of the season, and they have gone on such a run. And then Nick Cushing. You guys weren't talking about a, a, a team or a coach at Yankee Stadium, NYCFC head coach. They wanted to. 20 MLS Me and Ted Lasso <laughs> need a tutorial on how to coach. Maybe I'll get that. I've honestly never heard of them. Stairs of no, they won MLS Cup in 2021, and then they were also in the Eastern Conference Final last season. And then Juan Carlos Amoros, he is the new head coach of Gotham FC, and they are rebuilding, but they have an incredible squad. Just full of U.S. women's national team players. I think they're going to be Look very good. Look at that soccer good. knowledge. We got, we, got to pay, we got to pay some tribute to the beautiful game and, of course, to the women who play it as well. So thank you guys for all your insight.